Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, this is Sunday. This is day 12. So 10 plus 2 equals 12. Yeah, 12, 12. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for doing this 30-day reset with me. Thank you so much for uh, Possibility Thinking has joined the reset. And um, I'm just excited. You know, we have, what is that, like 19 days, 18 days left? Yeah, don't tell anybody I just did that. We have 18 days left in this 30-day reset. I, again, I'm seeing the progress, you know, I'm seeing the progress. I'm seeing more balance in my life, man. I'm telling you, uh, the Lord is just, well, I can't just say that the Lord is just speaking and showing me things because he probably is always trying to speak those things, but maybe we're so busy or doing this or that running here and there that we are not actually taking the time to listen for his voice. But I must admit it has been much, I mean, it's been so beneficial and just, a much needed touch uh, from the Holy Spirit and from the Lord. Um, so I am experiencing the benefits. Am I also experiencing the habits that are like, no, we're not going to let you go? Yes. Yes, I am. Yesterday I spoke about uh, people craving chocolate. And I was like, well, I like chocolate. I'm not craving chocolate. After that video, I promised I craved chocolate so bad it wasn't even funny. I craved it to the point that I'm like, okay, you want to play games? We'll cut out chocolate too. Um, so... I'm telling you, this this thing is real, and this reset is being so helpful. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Back to today being the number 12, today being day 12. 12 is the number that deals with government. And so today I just want to talk about uh, who's governing your life. You know, what's ruling and reigning in your life? Uh, sometimes our job governs. Sometimes our needs govern. Sometimes our, our stomach governs because we're hungry. I don't know what's governing, but I want to talk to you about allowing God to govern various areas in your life. Uh, choosing what's going to govern, what's going to set up the rules, what's going to set up the, the structure, the framework of how you're going to uh, interact, how you're going to behave. Maybe if you know what you stand for, if something comes externally, it doesn't have to knock you off your, uh, you know, knock you off your, uh, off your feet, cause you to just, just be knocked off. I don't know. You know what I'm saying though. So anyway, um, again, this is a number of government. My prayer and my hope for everyone is that we are governed by the things we want to be governed by. Because if we're not governed by those things that we're in agreement with, it's a, it, you almost feel like a slave. You almost feel like just frustrated and bottled up in your own side, up inside your own self. Like you're screaming, but no one can hear you. So today, let's tap in to see what's governing. See what's governing you. And for those thoughts that we don't always identify, but they drive us back and forth, check those things as well. Um, if you guys are interested in joining a group on Facebook called Think On Purpose, it's a private group. Shoot me an email and I'll be sure you get something to get you into the group. Have a great day. Enjoy Labor Day. Be safe. Uh, you worked hard. Take this three-day weekend and enjoy it. Love you all. Have a great, great day.